Are you struggling to make soup, boil water on your Weber Q? Then this could be the video for you. Let's dive straight into it. Don't forget everything you use in the video today. There are links in the description below for the best place to get those Weber products. Make sure you check those out at the end of this video. Now, if you're someone like me and you go camping or caravanning with your Weber Q, there comes a point especially in a tent where you want to boil some water or make some soup. Now Weber may have to solve this problem with the accessory we're going to be checking out today. So today we're going to be checking out the Weber BabyQ saucepan and how it works and fits in your BabyQ and the benefits of having this product. So let's jump in and check out this accessory. First up we get is your saucepan and all your accessories which we'll have a look in a second. What I like about Weber is they always include a recipe book. So in the recipe book, you've got your setup guide for setting this up, which we'll go through in a second. You've got a couple of recipes from poached eggs to smoky bacon baked beans, porridge with grilled bananas, grilled pasta and meatballs, chicken and vegetable soup, and then you've even got a recipe for making your own red toy curry. So you can see straight away that this is gonna be a great accessory straight off the bat. Let's start this one comparing this to the family QR pan. It's about half the size of a family QA pan. And fluid wise, if you fill this around half inch from the top, this will hold 1400 ml of water. That's two and a half pints of water. So that's roughly enough water to make around six cups of coffee. Now, how easy is it to fit and what do you get with the accessory? Well, so what you've got is your stand, which we're going to assemble in a minute. I'll show you how it fits in the baby Q. You've got your q -wear saucepan. Again, Teflon coated. Absolutely awesome. The handle is exactly the same as the other q -wear accessories, which is brilliant. So it's removable and then it comes with a lid. Now, the handle is really easy to use. You can do it all one-handed. Flick the switch up, push that forward, locate it on, lock it off, and you can lift and remove your pan. Once you put this on your Weber Q again, flick the switch, and off that comes. Now the unique thing about this is it comes with its own little stand to fit in the baby Q, and you can also use the grill at the same time. Now your stand comes in three sections. So all you do is pop your sleeve on there, sleeve on there, and then slot that together, like so. And then your frying pan sits on top that way, or that way. So just bring the Q up, and I'll show you how it fits in the baby Q and the benefits. So all you have to do, obviously while it's cold, is lift your grill plates out. And if you've got the K-On side tables like I'm using today, you haven't got to worry about the weight on those. These, these work really, really well. I will put an icon above a link into that video when I did a review on those. Now what you've got is your stand and you've got a U-shape here and a U-shape there. The longer part goes at that end, like so. And that's ready to rock and roll. You can replace your grill. So you can still cook your bacon, anything you want to grill on that side. Put your Q-Wear pan in there, flip that up. So you've got the benefit of being able to use half the grill and then cook your beans, soups, anything you want in there, which I think is really, really awesome. So you're taking advantage of the whole grill by using this and that, and you can boil water say while you're cooking your bacon, if you want to make your coffee, while you're caravan and camping. Now the other major benefit about this system, which I think is fantastic, move your grill grate, so you can drop your family size casserole dish in there, remove your handle, lower your lid, and you've got the best of both worlds. Now to remove the system, obviously wait till everything's cooled down. Remove your grill grate. You're going to want to clean it if you've been cooking any grills or steaks on this side with that in there. But other than that, it looks like a fantastic system. So my advice is obviously when you're not using it, I'll take it out, just wrap it in some bubble wrap or something that you've got with it, and keep it in your saucepan ready to rock and roll. Then to remove it, what I found with it is it does get stuck between the bolt and the burner here. So if you try and lift it there, it won't come out, it'll tip your cue. What I tend to do is hold that part down there, lift and twist, so lift that end out first, and then lift it straight out. Now don't forget everything you use in the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products, so make sure you check those out at the end of this video. Right, so I hope you enjoyed that quick unboxing and demonstration, and I'll jump into my final thoughts. So is the Weber Q saucepan worth investing in? In my opinion, I think it's a great investment. The benefits of it outweigh the cost. I think this is a great addition to Weber's QF products. I'm hoping that Weber bring this product out for the Weber Q and also for the family queue. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up as it helps with YouTube algorithm. If you wanna check out my review on the KN side tables, check out this video. And if you wanna check out my review on the QWare pan set, check out this video. 
So thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.